Hi boys and girls, welcome back to yoga. Miss Danielle here and this week we are going to be doing nursery rhyme yoga. So hopefully we'll cover some stories that you guys have heard of before, maybe some will be new, but either way, I want us to have fun together. So let's begin sitting crisscross applesauce. The first nursery rhyme that we're going to cover is hickory dickory dock. So we're going to make ourselves like clocks. So sitting nice and tall, roll your shoulders back and down and let your eyes close. And we're gonna take our head over this way and we're just gonna basically make neck circles. So as though our head were the hands on a clock, we're just gonna move them around nice and slow two times each direction. And let's go back the other way. All right, very good. And so now we are going to take on Itsy Bitsy Spider. So in that story, we have lots of rain and lots of sun. So let's begin with the rain. Reach our arms up. Let your fingers come down like rain. And let's make some pitter patter sounds on the ground. And let's reach it up one more time. Let the rain come on down with your fingers. And let's make those rain sounds on the ground. And then the sun comes out. We're going to lift up and be like the sun. And it's going to lean over this way. Now we're going to lean over this way. And that sun comes back high in the sky. And eventually the sun sets and we fold forward. Put your hands down, lift your head up, and we're going to come up onto our feet. Here we're going on to Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. So we're going to lift our arms up and we're going to make ourselves like a moon because, you know, the cow jumped over the moon. So we reach up nice and tall and we lean over to the side, make our bodies kind of like the shape of a crescent moon. Come back up. Now we're going to come over to the other side. Very good. Now, who remembers the story from last week, Humpty Dumpty? Well, we're going to take that one and we're going to pretend that we are Humpty Dumpty and we're going to sit on the wall. So bend your knees. Imagine there's a wall underneath you. Reach your arms out in front of you. And we're going to take chair pose being Humpty Dumpty. Sit on that wall. Can you bend your knees anymore? Very good. Now all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So we're going to ride our horse, step your feet apart, sit down nice and low, and just kind of bounce up and down like you're galloping on a horse. Good clap, good clap, good clap. Very good. Stand up and reach tall for Jack and Jill going up the hill. We take tall mountain pose. Standing up, reach your fingers towards the sky. Take your shoulders down towards the earth. Pull your belly button in. And now with their pail of water going down the hill, we're going to fold forward as though we're going down the hill. See if you can touch your hands on the ground or maybe even touch your toes. Now bend your knees. And we're going to come on to our seats. So sit back on your bum. Spread your feet out. Your legs long. And we're going to row our boat. So let's get those paddles in your hand. And let's row, row, row our boat gently down the stream. So lift your arms up. And we're going to be like a stream and fold forward. See if you can touch your toes again. I want you to reach your head towards your toes. Reach, 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 reach. And now we're going to sit up. So let your spine round up nice and heavy. Use your head. Take your feet together. Let your knees bend out to the sides. 
we're gonna make a diamond pose, just like from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So sit up. See that diamond shape in your legs. And then fold forward. One last pose. We're gonna come into child's pose, representing the little boy in Baba Black Sheep. You don't want to be a little boy. You don't have to. We can be little girls too. So sit back on your heels. Sit up nice and tall. You're going to take your arms behind you and now tuck your chin down and round your spine. See if you can make your forehead touch your knees. Very slowly come on back up. Again, pretend that your head is super, super heavy. Like a big heavy rock so your head is the last thing to come up keep your eyes closed or close them if you haven't already bring your palms together it's your heart center and now I'm gonna teach you a little secret code word that we use in yoga it's called namaste so let's say that all together one two three Namaste. With your eyes open. Thank you so much, class, for joining me for Nursery Rhyme Yoga this week. I had so much fun with you, and I hope you did with me. I'll see you again next week. Bye.